What is sleep paralysis? People often experience a frightening episode of hallucination and paralysis during sleep. Sleep paralysis is a temporary condition in which a person is in consciousness during sleep but unable to perform voluntary actions like muscle movement and speech. A person can experience it when he is falling asleep or about to wake up. In the simplest sense, you feel as though creepy and frightening stuff is going on around you, but you are frozen and unable to respond to it. Some people think they are responding by shouting, getting up and moving their body parts, but they are in fact immobilized. Now, male and females are equally affected by sleep paralysis. Typically, the first instance of sleep paralysis is in the teen years, but people of every age are affected by it. This condition of being frozen and feeling threatened lasts less than minutes, usually no longer than two or three minutes. The incidence of attack can also be in a single episode or possibly reoccurrent. Four out of ten people have experienced sleep paralysis, generally 8% of the total population. 28% of students and 32% of psychiatric patients are suffering from this condition. One of the reasons is hallucinations. The hallucinations signify the sensation of demons in the bedroom, some evil presence around you, a demon spirit, the feeling of hands around your neck, someone suffocating your breath and putting pressure on your chest. Sleep paralysis can be due to other sleeping disorders like narcolepsy. In narcolepsy, the order of sleep and wakefulness cycle is disturbed, thus resulting in excessive daytime sleepiness and sudden uncontrollable sleep attacks. Sleep paralysis usually occurs when a person is falling asleep, and it's known as hypnagogic sleep paralysis. The second time for occurrence is when a person is waking up from sleep, and that's known as hypnopomic sleep paralysis. When you are falling asleep, your body is in a calm and relaxed state, and you are unaware of your surroundings. During onset sleep, when you become aware of your surroundings, you may notice that you cannot perform voluntary actions, like moving your body or opening your eyes. During sleep, your body alternates between REM or REM or rapid eye movement and NREM or non-rapid eye movement. A single cycle of NREM and REM lasts for 90 minutes. Most of our dreaming occurs during the second half cycle along with rapid eye movement. Your muscles are intentionally paralyzed in this duration so you cannot move your body in response to any hallucination or horror dream. The brain gives directions to the voluntary muscles to act paralyzed, referred to as atonia. Atonia helps the body stay calm during vivid dreams, so we can't do crazy stuff in response to them, otherwise we'd likely end up harming ourselves. Thus, this restricted movement of muscles gives us physical relaxation, but we suffer from mental torture during sleep paralysis. The underlying causes of sleeping paralysis are stress, anxiety, depression, change in schedule, lack of proper sleep, relaxing in the supine position, substance abuse, potassium deficiency, and use of certain medications. There is no proper medication or treatment for sleep paralysis. Persons who endure it should go for healthy sleeping habits, stress-free environment, balanced diet, a positive mindset, and six to eight hours of sleep. Oh, and exercise for your mental health. If you feel conscious of your surroundings during sleep and you're unable to move and talk, then you may have sleep paralysis and you should be concerned about it. It's definitely a terrifying phenomenon though. The first time I experienced it, <laughs> I thought I was possessed. Seriously. So, have you experienced sleep paralysis?